Hi everyone. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Cho from the Toronto Concussion Clinic and today I'm going to show you an exercise uh, for spatial awareness training. So a lot of our patients struggle because they kind of, in their mind, they pay too much emphasis and it's not really a conscious thing, but they'll pay too much emphasis on their central vision and in the peripheral vision, less emphasis. So we can kind of claim that back by intentionally paying attention to our periphery. And then you can make it more and more challenging by making people do like more like stand on one leg so that the balance challenge is a bit higher or stand on foam or to do cognitive tasks or even to do visual tasks while they're keeping their peripheral vision open and in their attentional network. So um, I'm going to show you a simple kind of exercise to start. So you can see over here on this wall I got all these like post-it notes just peppered around the wall here, different colors, different numbers and letters and so on. And um, I'm just gonna start off by looking straight ahead, just standing at, with my feet shoulder width apart. And I'm looking straight ahead and I can notice orange, 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 green, green, pink. Um, with my peripheral vision, I can see that's a seven, that's a 10, that looks like an X. That looks like a Z, I think. So you can't see it as well, but sometimes they go a little bit far and you won't be able to make out some of the details. That one down there, I can't make out, and that one, I don't know, I feel like it's a, like a, third, like a team, like a 13 or something like that. That one I can make out. And then you can always bring it up so that you can make it out. Okay, yeah, now I can make it out. And slowly start stretching it, you know? Every day you can start bringing it lower and lower. Another task you can do is while you're doing that task, someone can like have a laser pointer like this and like point it randomly behind you and you just can point whenever you see it and they're gonna pick a spot in the periphery and you gotta notice it, right, right there. Or you could um, use, do a cognitive task and say, oh, that's at three o'clock, oh, that's at 10 o'clock, that's at seven o'clock, so they have to think about which position on the clock that laser represents. You could also do this in front of a mirror because a mirror makes you pay attention to things in your peripheral environment. And then like I was saying is you can even mix it with visual tasks. Like so if you guys get to the point where you actually try to do some visual tasks, you can start reading off a chart and you know someone could be in the peripheral behind you there like pointing at a post-it note and while you're reading the chart, you have to notice that, and then you can either flip your eyes over with a saccade and look at it and say it, or um, if you can use your peripheral vision just to spot it, then that's fine too. Keep in mind that your peripheral vision expands pretty far out, so you know this six over here that I can, I can still make out the details here. Um, if I really want to stretch out that peripheral vision, I probably want to bring it lower and lower in an area where I can't make out that six. Because I'm still stretching out my peripheral vision, I don't expect my peripheral vision to be that good with acuity or making out details. So you can still stretch it out. So that's why you'd have to kind of, if you're reading this chart, you'd have to bring your eyes down to kind of pick that up. And then of course, you could integrate uh, like balance challenges, like being on one leg, or being on foam, or incorporating turns or any of the other things we were talking about before uh, to make the task more challenging. Your rehab team will guide you. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and stay tuned. We'll come out with some more videos to help you on your road to recovery. Take care.